Welcome back to my channel. And if you are visiting this space for the first time, you are also highly welcome. In this lecture, we'll be looking at the differences between the male sacrum and the female sacrum. If we try to use this image by this idea for illustration, this is the configuration of the pelvic cavity. And at the posterior end here is where we have the sacrum. The sacrum is seen to fill the posterior region of the pelvic cavity. This is where we have the male sacrum here. And this is the female sacrum. So for the purpose of this lecture, so we would be highlighting the features that distinguish the male sacrum from the female sacrum. Now looking at the differences between the male and the female sacrum, the male sacrum is seen to be stronger why the female sacrum is seen to be lighter. The male sacrum is also seen to be longer in terms of vertical orientation, while the female sacrum is seen to be shorter. So if you try to use this image of the sacrum for male, you see that the vertical orientation here it is longer, while the vertical orientation in the female sacrum it is shorter. The female sacrum being short will mean that the pelvic cavity that will be created at this point will also be short in terms of vertical orientation. This means that the head of the baby will not be passing through a longer course before they are finally released out of the body. You can imagine if the sacrum is longer in female, it means that the pelvic cavity that will also be created around the space will also be longer. And this means that the baby we need to pass through a longer distance before they are finally released out of the body. You can see that most of these characteristics or features that are exhibited by the sacrum is to fit or suit vaginal bed that the female exhibits. The male sacrum is also seen to be narrower while the female sacrum is seen to be wider. If you also go through this image of the male sacrum, you see that the horizontal orientation is seen to be narrower. And this is what is highlighted here in black. For the female sacrum, the horizontal orientation is seen to be wider. And if it is wider at this point, it means that the pelvic cavity that will be created by this type of sacrum will also be wider. And it means this wideness will be creating more space for the passage of the baby during vaginal birth. The male sacrum is also seen to be less curved while the female sacrum is seen to be more curved. And this curvature that is created by the female sacrum also will create more space around the posterior part of the pelvic cavity because this curvature will also be creating more space posteriorly. And of course, this is needed also to allow for easy passage of the head of the baby during vaginal birth. You can see as we go that all these are to suit vaginal birth process in female. Also, the male sacrum is seen to have a more pronounced sacral promotory, while the female sacrum is seen to have a less pronounced sacral promotory. If you go back to our lecture on the sacrum, we've tried to highlight the significance of the prominency that is created by the sacral promotory. If you've not checked that lecture, oh, please kindly go and do so to keep yourself updated. The sacral promotory is an important landmark in the orientation of the pelvic inlet or the pelvic brim. If you try to use this male sacrum here by the side, this is where we have the sacral promotory here, Harold at this point. This sacral promotory is like a bulge or an eminence that is created by the first sacral bone. We know that the most superior part is where we have the first sacral vertebra, and this creates a form of bulge or eminence around the space. And this will dip into the pelvic inlet or the pelvic brim. This is where we have the orientation orientation of the pelvic inlet here, elected in yellow. And if you look at this alignment, the sacral promotory forms the posterior alignment of the pelvic inlet. So if this bulge is more pronounced, it means it will be dipping in into the pelvic inlet, thereby reducing the space that will be created around this region. But if we go to the female sacrum, this is where we have the sacral promotory that is also hard at this point. In the female sacrum, the sacral promotory is less pronounced. And it is less pronounced because it's going to be increasing the capacity of the pelvic inlet or the pelvic brim. This is where we have the orientation of the pelvic brim or pelvic inlet here, highlighted in yellow. And because it is less prominent, it means it will not be chopping into the space and thereby creating more space around the pelvic inlet. You see that if more space is created around this region, this is going to allow for easy passage of the head of the baby during vagina birth. You can see that all the characteristics that are presented by the sacrum in the female is to support vagina birth. So thanks for watching. 